The excitement among space enthusiasts is building this morning in New Mexico. That's where in a little more than 24 hours, billionaire Richard Branson's company, Virgin Galactic, will send him and three other employees to the edge of space. It's another milestone in the emerging commercial market of suborbital flight. Mark Strassman got the premier assignment, and he is near truth or consequences about 150 miles south of Albuquerque, where the flight will, will take off. Mark, good morning. Hey, Michelle, good morning. Truth or consequence is a great name for a, for a city, isn't it? Uh, it's pretty close to here. Where we are is Spaceport America. This is where the flight's going to happen. Behind me, you can see a replica of the Virgin Galactic space plane. People here, both excited and nervous, there is a lot riding on this moment. I'll be evaluating the customer space flight experience. Billionaire Richard Branson has weekend plans. He's going joyriding into space on Sunday morning. You know, government's not that interested in making you or I astronauts um, or people watching this program. And so after a while, we thought, screw it, let's do it. <laughs> Virgin Galactic's space approach involves a plane within a plane. Its mothership, VMS E, is a twin fuselage aircraft with two pilots. In its middle, the space plane, VSS Unity. At about 45,000 feet, Eve will release Unity. Fire. Fire. The space plane will shoot straight up more than 50 miles to the edge of space. Its four passengers, including Branson, will experience several minutes of weightlessness. Welcome to the club, astronaut. <laughs> Unity's pilots then will glide everyone back to Earth at Spaceport America, Virgin Galactic's hub. So this is the beginning of the public getting to go to space. Scott was, uh, McLaughlin runs this facility. He knows the future of space tourism will also ride on Sunday's flight. We hope for the best, but we've done everything we can to prepare for uh, a bad day, and we, we want Virgin Galactic to succeed. Blue Origin, billionaire Jeff Bezos' space company, will launch their boss to space on July 20th. Branson will beat him there by nine days. Do you see Blue Origin as a competitor? Do you and Bezos bow up when you see each other? <laughs> um, we're both doing something in the same space, but very differently. We may be competing, but we're not really competing for passengers because there'll be plenty of um, people who want to be astronauts who'll sign up to both of us. If all goes well, Branson hopes to start regular flights for tourists sometime next year. He has a closed uh, waiting list of folks eager to fly, about 600 people. They've all paid big money up front for their chance to go up and look back on Earth from space. I know, Mark, you're, you're dying to go. I know perhaps two of my co-anchors here would love to go. This is really sure. everyone else's chance, their shot to get into space, if, right? If you have half a million dollars. There I was is. just going to say, <laughs> that's there the it is. one thing. Except for that. Can the I cost mean, come down a little bit? I think there's a lot of excitement for this from, from a lot of people, but there's also some nerves. Oh, yeah. And I think people are just want to see things go well. Right. We have not gotten rid of that idea of exploring, of wanting to go into the no. next frontier. Yeah. yeah. I've been barred from going. So yeah. I'm just letting everybody. She's know. not going, Mark. Don't worry. <laughs>